Well, I have to admit not to being very pleased with myself. I sat down to edit the video for this TTI TCB555 complete with unboxing ceremony and all that to discover I've got no sound. So, like a fool, I unplugged something and not plugged it back in and so we'll have to start again well the it was 23 minutes long and so I could have overdubbed the pictures and just uh, but it would have been even worse than trying to redo it so Mr Chippy insisted that we bought a TCB 555 because they seem to be newly on the market and it has this built-in USB charger socket which is there, which is a 2 amp 5 volt USB charger socket, exactly what it says. It doesn't do anything apart from be a charger socket. So, we've already, of course, done all this, so this is take me less time than it would have done. And so this is a multi-norm set and if I can remember without uh, looking for the instruction book because I've had the thing 24 hours you know wouldn't expect me to still have got it we will switch it off oh switch it off off and I seem to recall we switch it on by press and press the AM FM button at the same time we do and then we can go up and down the various possibilities and it's EU that would give us AM and FM from the AM and FM switch so as you saw after five seconds of no button press it goes into whatever you've selected the other way to do it quicker is to press the PTT button. So we'll do that once again. We'll switch it off because I want it back in the UK. So there we go. So I'll pop it back to EC would be 40 Charles FM only. There's UK. Press the PTT. And there we have it. So this radio also has a hidden menu. <laughs> Can I remember how, what you do? I don't know. Let's see what happens if I turn it off and switch it on by pressing the channel 9 button. Oh yeah, so we can have the beep on or off. Um, what else can we do? The scan delay, the scan speed and all those kind of features. And I so say you can get rid of that beep and that's in that other menu. So it's a standard microphone with no buttons, which I prefer because uh, invariably they get clonked in the car. Or if you drop the mic on the floor and and it then changes channels, and you think, well, where's the person I was supposed to be talking to? On the back of the set, there is the extension speaker socket. And it's manufacture date is 2018, yeah, 20, 2019, sorry. Um, which means that the AM feature is for watts, as you'll be aware, uh, radios that are before 2014, when the rules changed, are often one watt on AM. I just get my connections back on. So I'm just going to open it up. I'll be used to doing that soon. One of the nicer things is that the speaker is pluggable, so we don't have to unsolder it. Now I've got a memory like a sieve, so I can't think that I've ever seen one which looked like this before. So, what have we got? Well, we have at least got some adjustments. There's no coils to adjust whatsoever. I'll just zoom in so you can have a look round. You clearly got the PA at that end, and 
I expect that's the modulation transformer and I expect that's a power input choke but it could be the other way around I haven't got a circuit and you've got a crystal filter there a ceramic filter there you've got the reference crystal there and on this radio you've got a trimmer capacitor so we can adjust the frequency which is better than the one uh, which we were looking at the other day or oh, was it the CRTS Mini we haven't done a video on that we haven't done a video on the CRTS Mini latest version because there were no adjustments whatsoever but you can always leave a comment and see whether you want to see inside the CRTS Mini that has no adjustments whatsoever I did a bit of jiggery and pokery and did manage to get three and a half watts out of it because it was doing three watts as it came out of the box uh, this was doing one and a half watts as it came out of the box clearly that's the VCO in that can there so of course I've already tuned this up once on the previous video which as I say was a failure so I was able to make some notes So as I said, the trimmer capacitor there is for the set the frequency. We've got deviation is RV four oh one AM modulation is RV two oh one. Automatic power control RV301 Squelch RV181 Auto Squelch preset, so it doesn't sound very auto to me. He's actually just down there. I'll just see if I can zoom in and you can see that. This is a preset down there. That is auto squelch. And then there's one adjustable coil there. And that's actually AM detector on receive. So I've put a camera on the test set meter. So if I press the right magic switch on the mixer, hopefully it will come up. And what you have. If I switch the radio on, and it's on channel 20 UK, is 4 watts. And that can be adjusted with the APC, automatic power control, which is that one there. And as you can see, we can turn that down, and we can turn that up. Now I'll tell you what I'm interested in. Oh, it doesn't have a meter on it, so that's... Uh, I was going to say I wonder if the meter tracks with the power, because lots of these newer sets, it doesn't matter whether you set them at half a watt or whether you set them at four and a half watts, they all read the full set of bars. It's just a glorified TX light these days on a lot of radios. But this doesn't have a meter for either TX or RX, so that comment is not necessary. So just pop that onto 4 watts. Do about 4.4. So there we go. So while we have that camera on, we'll do the deviation. Sound right. So, what's that reading? About one and a half with the uh, test oscillator. Let's see what it is when I give it a bit of a whistle. Wallow. <whistles> yep, that's that is how we set it. And the deviation. I'll just go back to the oscillator and undo it to redo it. The deviation is the adjustment just there. 
and you'll see, if we just get that in a better position, that we can turn that down, we can turn that stupidly up. So we'll put it back about there and see whether, voila, testing one, two, that's over the top. So I'll just pop it down again. Wallow. There we go. Between 2.2 .2 and 2.5. So that's your deviation. So AM modulation, you'd be expecting to get 90% modulation. Um, I did adjust it on the first video, but um, there's no need to do that. Um, and it means reprogramming the set into EU mode to do it. And the reason I needed it to be on AM is so that I knew the detector was right because I'd upset the detector for AM thinking that was the FM detector so that's what that was about so we'll just show you that it's on frequency and I'll just swap um, cameras if I can just reach the mixer so we're expecting 27.79125, 27.79133. So that's so spot on. Radius drift down with ages, crystal ages, as the quartz crystal ages. So if we needed to adjust that, and I haven't touched it on this radio, it's the adjustment there. So that's the frequency. So we'll pop that off. So over to receive, so we're doing 4 watts, we've got the right deviation and it's on frequency. So on receive, so we'll turn the volume up and that's S9. Oh, what it does have there, you do have a receive light. So can you see, when I put the signal on, it says RX. So you do have that. But I expect that comes on when you turn the squelch down as well. It does. So that's S9, 100 microvolts. 30 microvolts. 10 microvolts. 3 microvolts, bit of surface noise. One microvolt, bit more surface noise. 0.3 of a microvolt, the squelch has come in. Still very easily audible. So I'll turn down the fine attenuator. So 0 0.3, 0 0.25, 0 0.2 of a microvolt, 0 0.15, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. There's still something there, listen to the difference. Off, on. There's something there, and then right down to 0 0.06 when we do lose it, and that's where our instrument uh, goes off its attenuator scale. So very sensitive receive. I was doing a Uniden Uniace 100, and you know, they're lovely sets, but uh, you're not going to get beyond 0 0.5 of a microvolt on those, and, and times have changed on sensitivity. So that brings me to the squelch. There's no adjustments, as I say, on the receive. There's just the AM detector if we were to go into AM and do that, which I've already done. So squelch. I'm going to switch the signal generator off. Set the squelch to threshold. Switch the signal generator back on. And advance it till we hear it one microvolt and it's come in so that's excellent so we'll turn the squelch to full turn the signal generator back on that's 100 microvolts so that's S9 so you can squelch out as high as an S9 signal so now we'll go and do that with the auto squelch so that's click position there so we're now showing A for auto and we'll switch the signal generator on 
so 0 0.3 of a microvolt, 1 microvolt, 3 microvolts, 10 microvolts. So let's vary the fine attenuator. So it drops off, comes on at 9, drops off at 6. So if you didn't want that range, and you wanted the finer range, for example, that's where we'd be adjusting the auto squelch preset down there. But that range is, is fine to me. So that's your auto squelch. Not really much more I can say. Because there aren't very many adjustments, as, as we've uh, said. So really remains for me to pop it on the aerial and see if there's any good budgies out there. Right, so I've put it back together. You've got six screws on, on these sets, you've got two in the back. So I put it in scan, and that's on auto squelch. So let's go into manual squelch. Because out in the middle of nowhere here, we're not likely to get much apart from interfering. So I'll pop it down to there. Ah, take it out of scan. I don't think the audio's through the internal speaker is brilliant. I'm going to plug the instrument speaker in instead. It's only a three-inch speaker in the in the test set. That sounds better than the internal speaker, and I'll be fair and face it towards the microphones, which are just there to my left. So, so what about this? I mean, it does four watts. It does full deviation. It's got a really sensitive receiver. It's got scan. They're only about fifty pounds. It's got that could be useful USB outlet which does nothing it's totally independent of the CB uh, so it doesn't uh, cause any snags and that gives you two amps at five volts which could be useful um, so what are my niggles well as I said I don't think the speaker's that brilliant in it but you know you'd use a lot of these you'd use on an external speaker anyway and the other niggle is I don't like the way when we set this to UK on a post 2014 set which this is then I expect to be able to use CPT AM, CPT FM and UK FM in those three sets without having to fiddle about and I think it's disappointing that I would have to reprogram the radio into EU mo mode to be able to do AM and FM on CPT and then I'd have to reprogram the radio back to UK mode in order for it to do the UK FM and it just I just find that annoying um, so, as we're set up for the UK, if I press the AM FM switch, it will go into. No, it'll go into scan. Oh, I thought it was going to go into. Uh, what's that? I thought it would go into CPT. So it doesn't. So it does nothing in uh, in UK mode apart from UK. If you reprogram it for EU, then the switch becomes AM and FM. So we've done it. We've already done an on-the-air video. As I said, there was a mistake with the uh, recording of this yesterday, and there was no sound. So um, I know that it works 
fine on the air and um, there you go but then just my little niggles so that is the TTI TCV 555 at least it's got some adjustments thank you for watching